Hey Facebook, this is Alex from Unjax. I just thought I'd film a really quick video. We've just finished, well, we've just finished a couple of hours ago. We had a client in for a microscopic demotics test. So I just thought I would show you a quick little look at what mites look like under the microscope after a demotics test. Um, so wish I'm coming to you from our Melbourne headquarters in Australia. Um, so this is what it might looks like under the microscope. Now you can see, let me get a pointer. Um, so this looks a bit like a demotics brevis. It's quite small and stumpy. Um, they tend to live in the oil glands. So there's the t little mouth parts. So this is actually, I'd say it's just becoming an adult by the looks of those legs. So see these tiny little legs that are just forming. Um, so that you can tell like a teenage mite or a nymph from an adult because the adults have eight legs. So nymphs only have six. So you can see this new little leg just growing as it matures. Um, so the legs, whoops, let me just make that big again and not see my reflection. Um, and yeah, it's a female. She's full of oil and bacteria and feces. So what I'm going to attempt one handed, this again is just a really quick casual video to keep everyone updated on the latest demotics news. So I am just basically zooming up. Let's get it in focus. So this is usually a two-handed job. Hey, there we go. Okay, so this is what it, she looks like up a little bit closer. So you can see this way better. So there's the little mouth parts. Let me try and focus in on that. That's probably about as clear as we're going to get. So that's the mouth parts. So you can see the underbelly, the short segmented legs. Thanks for the likes, guys. And the body. So that's full of oil and eggs and built up feces. So that's basically what mites look like under the microscope. <laughs> Sorry for my reflection. It's 5.30 in the afternoon here in Australia and I am not camera ready. But these mites are ready for their close up. So what I was going to do, there's actually lots on this slide. Um, I don't know how I'll go finding any more while I'm filming. Um, you can see on the microscope here, we're honestly just looking at a pinprick at a time. So it's like a little bit tedious. But when the customer was here earlier, they might, so there's lots of like bodies of mites as well. So you can see like when mites die, they basically disintegrate. So you can see the shape here. It's not really got its form, um, but it was, was a mite. So what they do, wait a second. Another guy, they basically liquefy under your skin when they die. So that's, why they can cause problems like acne and rosacea. Uh, if anyone's watching, give me a quick wave. This is just a really quick video to share what a demotics test result looks like. Um, a lot of our customers get quite frustrated. They don't necessarily live in Australia or live in Melbourne and they can't, can't come and get these directly. Um, we do have a test online that will help. It's the next best thing, but yeah, it's always good to know what you're looking at. Um, so honestly, this is going to be boring as hell watching me trying to find a mite, 
but what I did do earlier when the customer was here was take a video and you can actually so this was from the same sample I was just looking at um, let me press play oh my gosh come on and so you can actually see this was the the close-up you can see this is a Demotix Folichlorum, so it's a lot longer compared to the other one I showed you. And she's chock full of eggs and bacteria and feces. And yeah, you can actually see the legs moving. Um, it's not a very stable image. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, you can do a free online test. We've just posted the link in the comments. Um, but if anyone ever gets itchy at night, even during the day, and, and doesn't know why, it's probably an overpopulation of demotics mites. Um, you can see their little legs moving there. So you can have literally thousands, if not hundreds and thousands, on your skin. Um, Sorry, it's not staying in frame. And yeah, it look, they're really worth looking into. If you do have a demotics problem, um, we can certainly help with that. Um, and yeah, I'll look, I'll spend a few more seconds going through the raw slide. But I think, is it bacteria? Thanks, AK. Um, no, they are actually creatures like insects, so they're related to scorpions and spiders and things, but they're a mite, um, but they do carry lots of bacteria. So basically in their bodies, um, they walk all over your skin, all over other people's skin, and it can pick up germs and bacteria and take it deep under your follicles. And, and basically, um, yeah, your skin's really vulnerable at that stage. So, you know, especially for those who have a high population, so you literally have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these guys moving in and out, laying their eggs, doing their thing. It can cause lots of problems. Um, and, yeah, I... Oh, no, that's another body. Um, so I might leave it there. This was just a quick video. I was literally about to leave my desk for the day. And I remembered we had this slide from earlier um, that I thought might be interesting for anyone wanting to know about demotics mites. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. If you do have any issues, click that link in the... Um, comments so for the free online test send us a message um, we're always happy to chat to Modix. have a lovely day night evening afternoon wherever you are um, and talk soon bye